Hey guys, Mr. Hanrahan here. Uh, today we're going to talk about literary response, which I guess is a fancy way of saying the writing that we do about the stories that we read. Or perhaps it's just better to say literary response. Sounds better. Uh, and specifically we're going to look at how do we add support and depth to our writing? How do we move beyond that, that very basic, that very shallow one-line response uh, and, and, and dig a little bit deeper? So you, you had this quote from chapter 13 of Touching Spirit Bear, and it reads, Edwin had said that anger was a memory never forgotten. That might be true, but the spirit bear was also a memory that would never disappear from his mind or heart. I think this is an important quote in kind of understanding Cole's character and, and the change that he's undergoing, kind of where he's been, what happened to him, and, and kind of where he's going. So we had these questions that we asked that we're going to kind of guide and, and focus our writing here. And the first one was, what is Edwin trying to tell Cole? Then we had, do you think this is good advice? And what is Cole's reaction to Edwin's advice? So let's take these one at a time. Uh, and just start with the first one here. What does Cole, or what does Edwin mean when he tells Cole that anger is a memory never forgotten? Let's go ahead and answer that question directly. Edwin is trying to tell Cole that his anger will never disappear. All right, we've answered the question. We're done. Let's move on. Next question, right? No, absolutely not. Let's stop right here. Let's explore this a little bit, okay? Let's Let's talk a little bit more about this? Well, how do we do that? Well, we can ask some questions, and one of the questions is, so what? Okay, this, this anger will never disappear. So, so what now? Well, since this anger will always live inside him, Cole must learn to control it. As you can see here, we're kind of adding a layer. We're kind of, kind of moving beyond that, that first level. So let's do it again. Tell me more. We can we can do what I call opposite thinking. Well, what would be the opposite of Cole learning to control his anger? Well, that would be the Cole before the spirit bear attack, right? The Cole, the old Cole. The old Cole let his anger control him. So you can see how that's kind of opposite of, of how he must learn to control it. What else can we do? Let's ask the question, what if? If the new coal is to emerge, he must find a way to keep his emotions in check. You can also ask the questions how or why. Any of these questions, all of these questions are going to force you to dig deeper. And what you can see here, you know, now we're sitting here on a handful of sentences that really show that we've not only answered the questions, but that we've considered something beyond that, that we've, 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 we're digging deeper. We have some depth to our writing. Let's go on to the next question here. Is this good advice? And this is going to be really your opinion. Do you think it's good advice or do you not? Um, one way to start off here and answer it, my opinion is that Cole should listen carefully to Edwin's advice. Or you can say, I firmly agree with Edwin that anger is a memory never forgotten. You can also, you know, flip these around and, and tweak the sentences a little bit there to show that you don't think it's good advice. Again, depending on whatever your opinion is. Um, so once you answer this question here, what are we going to do? Let's, let's tell me more here. Let's dig deeper. Let's ask the question, what if? What if Cole takes Edwin's advice? What if Cole does not follow his advice? And here are some, some sentence starters to kind of get you thinking here. Assuming Cole takes this advice, and you go ahead and finish this thought. What does that look like? What happens? What are the results of that? And then come back after you do that and say, you know, if Cole chooses to ignore this advice, what does that look like? And what you're going to find here is, is, again, you're starting to string together some ideas that really add support to your writing, that, that show that you're, you're thinking about this in a, in a more thoughtful way, not just looking to answer the question and move on, but you're really kind of paying attention and asking those more meaningful questions. Let's go ahead and look at the last one here. What is Cole's reaction? And if you look at the last sentence in that initial quote that we looked at, uh, you can kind of see, you, you have Edwin saying, your, your anger's never going to go away. Um, and, and what is Cole thinking? What's Cole's perspective or his point of view? Well, Cole's thinking that, you know, this spirit bear attack is, is also a memory that's never going to disappear, right? This is, so, so you know, this, this is always going to be here as well. So you're going to go ahead and answer this question, what is Cole's reaction? And then, of course, tell me more. How are we going to do that? 
Ask the question, so what? So what now? Engage in opposite thinking. Ask the question, what if or what if not? Or then ask the questions, why or how? And hopefully when you do this, when you ask these questions, you're going to really start to, to show that, that you're, you're moving beyond that first level. You're thinking more critically about these, these questions. You're able to elaborate. You're able to expand on, on your initial ideas. And that's really what we're looking to do uh, is, is, you know, read these things, think about these things critically, and then kind of put together a response that shows that we're thinking about them, that we're considering all of these questions, not only on the surface, but some of those deeper questions as well. And, and you know, hopefully uh, this helps you kind of expand your writing a little bit and, and kind of add some support and some depth to your writing. All right, take care, guys. Hope this helps, and we'll talk next time.